Hi everybody, my name is Tristan and today I'll be talking to you about chapter 4 in Howard Thurman's Jesus and the Disinherited. And so chapter 4 is about hate and what Howard Thurman tells us about hate is that it cannot be defined, it can only be described. And so he gives us different situations that he's been through in his personal life that described hate. And so what he tells us also about hate is that it comes from a lack of genuine fellowship meaning that there's no genuine attempt to connect with the other person, to understand the other person. And when we're not having um, genuine fellowship, that comes across as ill will and um, unsympathetic understanding of another person. And so one situation that he tells us about in chapter four is a time where he's on a train and there's an elderly lady that's sitting ahead of him. And as this lady is getting her ticket checked, um, she tells the conductor, what is that doing here? And throughout the train ride, um, she's also going to the other passengers, telling them um, her opinions and just spreading ill will among them. And Howard Thurman tells us that he felt the atmosphere shift from a common indifference to a positive resentment of his presence. And that just goes to show what happens when we have ill will in our hearts and how that manifests in certain situations. And he also lets us know that hate does not only grow in the hearts of the strong. And it's not only used as a weapon for the strong. Um, it's also used for um, by groups that may have been or people who may have been victimized as um, a tool to validate themselves. And so he also tells us about a situation where he was in a Jim Crow car and these two little black girls are sitting with him and as they're um, in the car, they see these two white girls who are skating towards the car. And so these two black girls, they're about 14 or 15 years old and they say to each other, um, wouldn't it be funny if they fell and splattered their brains everywhere? And Howard looked at them and thought to himself, you know, what have they been through to think that way and to think that that's okay? And that just goes to show what happens when we have hate in our hearts. Sometimes we use that as validation to maybe feel a void, to feel uh, validated, and to feel like you're important and you're not weak. Um, but hate, uh, it, it blocks our hearts, it blocks our minds, and it blocks our creativity. And Howard Thurman also points us to what Jesus counseled us on about hate. And Jesus counseled us to love our enemies so that we might be the children of our Father who are in heaven. And I think ultimately that's the goal of what Howard Thurman is trying to convey to us, is that hate is the wrong way to go and that hate has no place in our hearts. And so... I hope that that is what we're all aiming to do and that's what we're all doing. Um, but that is what I pulled from that is that God does not want us to hate. And 